All right, guys, Crypto Jumpstart. So today we're going to do something pretty cool. This is something that I wanted to do. We talked about Axie Infinity. Um, I was speaking to a Filipino virtual assistant of mine, and he had basically told me that he knew all about Axie Infinity because it was the number one played make money gaming crypto pretty much in the Philippines, and I think worldwide right now, Axie Infinity. So basically what people are doing is they're creating like uh, a game of characters and then they're basically giving it to people in third world countries to play it so they invest their time we invest our money of course we could play the game if we wanted to but this is really cool because this is kind of like a make money online like an investment through a gaming platform uh using nfts and crypto so what we're going to do today is daniel from crypto rojas or from Crypto Reds, <laughs> Daniel Rojas from Crypto Reds is going to basically set up our Axie Infinity player account and pick the best characters and get them ready so that we can start playing. We're going to talk about how much money it costs, how much you can expect to make, when do you get your money back, and the kind of the process of basically uh, kind of like making an investment, but allowing other people to do the work and this is really popular in the Philippines and places like Venezuela and Mexico and other places like that. Right, Daniel? That is absolutely correct. Um, there's like, I think that the, the country that plays Axie Infinity the most is definitely the Philippines. Uh, I think a close second place would be Venezuela and uh, some other countries in Latin America, because uh, yeah, this is, um, it has, it, it's, Hacks Infinity has been around for like two years or more. And I think it has like the, the, the narrative, just like uh, get a second salary or just like make some money on the side is really powerful. And um, Axie Infinity has been kind of like the top dog. Yeah. So apparently it's actually a pretty fun game to play and you can play on your mobile device. So while you're working in your government job, you know, in the government building, and you're just sitting around, you can kind of like have slide your mobile over here and make a little money on the side. I'm just joking, but I, I imagine that if you were to walk through the Philippines in a lot of places, you're gonna see people constantly looking down at their mobiles. What are they doing? They're making money. They're, they're winning tokens that can basically be exchanged into crypto like Ethereum um, or other cryptos that are basically on, that, that are either bridged to the Ethereum blockchain. Um, it's crazy because this is taking off so big and I never really understood. Now I get it. Um, a lot of people aren't paying attention to this, but you should be. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set it up. Uh, I don't know anything about this other than the last video we made where Daniel was explaining it to me. So what Daniel's going to do, I'm going to just give him, I'm going to give you the platform, but just tell us what you're doing and how you're setting it up and the cost and why. And let's go. Sounds good. So this is the main site, axinfinity.com. If you want to get started, you want to click on Marketplace. That'll take you here. And like you see, we have uh, 0.322 ETH, which is about $1,000 at the time of recording. And So this is a crypto jumpstart account that we are creating that we yes. will update people. So we're going we're gonna to keep you guys updated on the, the progress of this. So stay tuned. Subscribe. Yeah. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have MetaMask, right? Uh, you want to have your MetaMask wallet, everybody does. And then what you're going to do is you want to have a Ronin wallet. This Ronin wallet is actually what I was uh, telling Chris about. This is like a separate network, a separate blockchain that all of the things about Axie Infinity are actually on here. So if you want to buy an Axie, uh, that is done through the Ronin network. If you want to transfer it, if you want to uh, when you earn your SLP tokens, everything is done on the Ronin uh, network. So you actually want to have that. Now, what we did behind the scenes um, just a few minutes ago is once you have this set up and you have your ETH on your MetaMask, what you're going to do is you are actually going to need to transfer that ETH from Ethereum over to the Ronin network. And the way you do that is you click on deposit to Ronin, and this will open up this bridge, right? And uh, you just paste in your Ronin address right here. 
um, you choose which of the assets you're going to transfer. In our case, it's going to be ETH, and then you choose the amount. Now, of course, you do not want to send the max amount because you have to pay the Ethereum fee. How much is Ethereum fee, you ask? So there's this really neat website called Axie.live. And this will tell you real time how much, give or take, the fee to do all sorts of things on Axie Infinity is going to cost. So in our case, we want to deposit ETH from Ethereum over to Ronin, and at time of recording is gonna be about 30 bucks. So this is really useful. That's what we paid just to send. So a thousand dollars worth of ETH to send into the Ronin network cost us 30 bucks. Yes. So that's yeah, like uh, 3%. So that was a 3% yeah, exactly. tax. Exactly. So we did, it. we did it, we have the money here. And now that we're on Ronin, what we want to do is we want to buy some Axies. So we're in the marketplace now, the Axie Infinity marketplace. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So this is this is the actual marketplace. You can filter out some Axies. I already have um, my Axies uh, selected. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go through that? or? Yeah. Tell us about the first one. So what's the first one we're buying? So the first one is our tank. So this is a plant, even though it's not really green, but it's a plant. You can tell it because it says here or under class says plant. It says plant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, oh, the owner says Cuban Productor or something, which is so we're buying it from Cuban Productor, and the breed count is what's that mean? Two. Uh, breed count it means that it has two children. You can see here. Uh, but we don't own any. the children. It just means that it had children, but somebody else Correct. owns them. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Then um, here are the health stats. This one isn't really good. Maybe we can pick uh, one that has like 61 health or something because um, the tank needs to be really bulk. So, so you maybe want, we can do that. You want to get a different uh, one? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do a different one. Um, well, let's so, just go to a different one then. Yeah. Yeah. So the way that we do that is we go to, I, yeah. So over here, I already have four parts. So these are going to be the attacks of the axes, um, which is going to be um, that I want to keep. But I can also filter by stats. So a good plan should have like, um, you know, 59 or something. Um, this is going to be probably a little bit pricier. Mm. So I don't know if we still have uh, enough of it. But what we can do is just buy the first two axes, and then if we still have uh, enough, we can buy a plant, right? Okay, let's do it. But, but yeah, so that's the plant, that's our tank. We want it to be bulky, and we also want it to have um, certain characteristics, such as, in this case, we want it to uh, steal energy. This is what this card does, Sirius. Uh, we want to gain energy with, uh, with this card over here, Leaf Bug. And then uh, some other cards that poison, and we can draw cards. So, so this is our guy, right? That's that's the first one that we wanna that wanna keep an eye on. Um, then we are going to do uh, also a. Is this a terminator? Yes, this is a terminator. So remember we talked about a terminator. So this one is all about debuffs. So what's a debuff? We're gonna stun uh, the opponent. So it does if the shield breaks. So this is what this card does. Um, so the opponent will be unable to, or the axie that we attack is gonna be unable to fight back on the next round. Um, also a card that stuns over here. Um, lagging is a card that decreases the speed. So if it decreases the speed, you will be able to attack first. And which is really good because, you know, um, maybe if it's a really, really um, big attack, then the Axie could be dead before it even uh, brings us damage, right? And then there's this other card which says uh, deal 130% damage to debuffed targets. And guess what? All of the targets that this guy attacked will be debuffs. So there's synergy is what they call among these cars. And this is what the, you know, the people call this a Terminator because mm -hmm. it, you know, has all of these uh, features or characteristics. 
Okay. So, so let's just buy this let's one. Let's buy it. Let's do it. So we're going to click on buy now. Um, now the fees on the Rona network are cheap and fast. They're free. Free. Look at this transaction fee free times 100. So you can calculate to a penny basically. Yeah. Once yeah, you you're can. there, once you're there. Yeah. Once you're there. Also what's going to happen sometimes. Okay. Transaction submitted successfully. Awesome. So this means that we bought it. So now it's going to say that we're the owner. Yes. We're just going to have to give it like a minute or something okay. before it like refreshes. All right. But we got yes. one. So we need to get three. So let's get, yeah, cool. Let's get another one. So okay. this is, yeah, this is the other one that I was talking about. This is a fish. Um, so this fish mm -hmm. uh, is basically kind of like a medium term um, guy, which like deals damage, but also um, gives you energy. So what energy is, is um, each turn, you, you're going to need energy to play a certain amount of cards. So for instance, if I want to, if I want to do, uh, this card, goldfish, this one at the top left, it's the amount of energy it requires. So uh, I need to spend or burn one energy to play this card and to apply 110 damage and to have this effect, like uh, apply speed plus to this taxi for two rounds. So by applying, by using this card, I not only give 110 damage, but I also, I'm also faster. I also gotcha. increase my speed. Right, and this one is really cool. This is Nemo. It costs zero energy, but it'll gain one energy. Like I will gain one energy when I when comboed with another card, right? So this this is kind of like serves a couple of purposes. And then Dual Blade, which deals two hundred and fifty percent damages on critical strikes, which is really good. So we're gonna buy this guy. Three hundred bucks for that little guy. For that little NFT, that's a three three hundo spot. Yeah. Three hundo, boom, free. We own it. Okay. Yes, we do. So we need one more, right? You need three to play. Yes. Uh, so. Let me, let, let me check how much is the balance because sometimes you can see an axi, uh, but then somebody else buys it, and you need to look for another one for the next, you know, the next one. So it's point eleven nine. So I think we're gonna we're gonna be really good for that plant that I was talking about earlier. So this one is yeah, 0.11. So we're we we have a lot more. We can actually pick a better one even. Let's, let's go better. Let's get it. Let's yeah, get let's a monster. Let's get a monster. Okay. So we want a beast. 61. Oh, okay. So best we can do is yeah, that's good. Best we can do is like 59 of health, which is fine. It's the same one that we have right here. Um, yeah, let's do it. So let's do by now. You need to look at his cards or anything? No, uh, I did. Yeah. It's, it's, these are the ones that I, because I pre-filtered it uh, okay. for the parts, but yeah, like this is the one that I want. So now it puts the axi that you're going to buy Then you're going to do confirm and cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of tabs open here, but um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to our account and we should see, we go to top right, my account, and then you go to inventory. Inventory, um, yeah. And then we cool. should see that that third uh, So plant. we got two and then the other transactions coming through any second yeah. now, and then we'll have three. And then it just exactly. updates. And it just updates and we still have about a hundred bucks more. To, is there anything that, you that do? Can you do anything with that money or you can only buy axes? Um, no, you can only buy axes. Um, Axie, the Axie Infinity guys are supposed to have a DEX or decentralized exchange where you can just like uh, convert your, your ETH into SLP. And, you know, it's because if we had SLP, it'll basically be free for us to send to Binance, you don't, you wouldn't have to pay the 30 bucks hmm. or 60 bucks or whatever it is to send money in and out of Ronin. Hmm. But, you know, there is still not out yet, but you know, anyway. All right. So we spent about $900 to get our team together, our Axie team. Um, we're still waiting for the third one to come through. So what's, yeah. what's up? What's up with that? Does it sometimes take a few minutes? 
Yeah, sometimes it takes a couple of oh, minutes. There, oh, we, go. Go. there we All go. All right, so we have our three axes. Now, can you give an idea of like what, with, with a scholar, mm -hmm. right? So a scholar is basically somebody in another country, for example, Venezuela or, or somewhere, and they're gonna play the guys for us so we don't have to invest our time. Now we may play a game just to show what it's like, but um, what kind of return or what kind of earnings can, can we expect the scholar to make and how much do they get to keep for doing the work? How does that work? Right. So let's take, let, let's see how much a team would make period. And then we'll get into the, the DP up with the scholar. So we first go to CoinGecko the the token that um we that the axes will be earning is slp so it's about seven cents at the time mm -hmm. of recording my my top scholars they usually make from they usually average 180 to like 200 slps per day okay. so let's call it per team let's call it 180 per team yes per team Okay. Let's call it, you know, one, let's call it 150, you know, to low keep ball it. So that's yeah, 10, ball it. 10 bucks. That's All 10 right. bucks a day. So if I want to make $10 a day right now, roughly, maybe a little bit more. Well, what if you put one, 170, what 11? Okay. We'll say $10. Oh, so $10 is, is, is probably an average, right? Meaning there's some guys yeah. that could do more, some, so you spend nine hundred dollars currently, and you got a team that can make you around ten dollars. How much of that do they keep? The scholars. That's, I mean, I've seen I've seen people um, going from like uh, keeping like uh, twenty five percent, which is really on the low spectrum. It's usually like I've uh, usually heard about uh, thirty to thirty five percent that the scholar keeps. Some I even go up to like fifty fifty. So let's just say a third. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like yeah, a third. So okay. So if you make ten dollars, you're gonna give you're gonna give three dollars and thirty cents roughly per. Now, how how much time do they have to invest into one team to earn that to earn the ten dollars? Mm, it's usually, I would say, two to three hours per day, probably. So it's not really a huge amount of money, but it's fun and easy to do. So and they get to make money on anyways. Yes. And then probably once they make enough money, they probably just buy their own team. Some do. Some yeah. do. Or some just, they just like to play the game, right? Um, some, yeah. I mean, now, some. Now that that's, that's right now currently. So if you say you have somebody who's a scholar and you want to load them up, with multiple teams and they want to play, they're like, I want to play six hours a day or eight hours a day. They're going to play four hours in the morning, four hours in the evening. It's easy for them. They like to do it. That would, allow, they could probably manage about what, four, four teams maybe? Um, yeah, they could. But the thing is that, um, so Axie has this policy where a single device should only be tied to a single account because Axie. No, but, but you said you could just buy more axes oh yeah okay so, that's yeah so let's say that we were to buy three times four 12 axes mm -hmm. they could play roughly eight hours a day with that probably yes something like yep. that yep so something that, like that yep. so then the earnings would be four times that which would be let's say forty dollars a day so if yep. you in, invest nine times uh, nine times four which is uh thirty six hundred dollars so mm -hmm. you could you could do an investment of thirty six hundred. this is all rough roughly you, you do an investment of thirty six hundred dollars you're gonna buy four teams similar to what we just did which is four times three that's 12 axes right yep um you're gonna make forty dollars a day Mm -hmm. You're going to pay a third of that, which is 3.3 times four, which is 12, yeah, like 12 and a half. Yeah. So you're going to earn $36 a day and, uh, right. 36, what's 36 times 30. 
36. Oh, wait. 36 times 30. That's a thousand. All right. So you invest 3,000. What did I say? 3,600 or 3,500? Yeah, 3,600 because, yeah. So you invest 3,600 and now you have an income of $1,000 per month. You make your money back in three months, three and a yep, half months. about three months. And yes. then after three and a half months, it's, it's, you're, it's, it's all profit. So you could potentially, provided the game stays relevant and it's, you could invest $10,000, which would be basically three times that. You could have uh, like two thousand. Then yeah, you could have three thousand dollars a month after paying your scholar, and have an income of over three thousand, a little over three thousand, like three thousand. We'll say three thousand two hundred, thirty two hundred dollars. For a lot of people, that's um, I mean, that's a great, that's a life changing income if you could just get thirty six hundred dollars coming through. That's provided the gain stays the same. Now there's a possibility that the earnings value goes down, but there's also the possibility the earning goes up, meaning the axes become more expensive, but the, the value of the SLPs are higher. So you could actually potentially be making more money for the same amount of work, but you already did your investment. Correct? Yep. And once you... Go ahead. Yeah. Once the... if it, It's like you said, if the game stays relevant and if like really the... Um, the the SLP doesn't drop in more in value then yeah I mean like uh, after you just like pay yourself um what's the highest the SLP has gone to like 20 cents I think let's see oh no 40 cents look at this three months ago well damn so if, if it spikes up and you already have your team in place you could be making like a significant amount of money if if the game gets more and more adoption and becomes more popular in more countries and it seems to be kind of still doing that right and yep. they're they have updates in this and that so i know it's a risk obviously it's a risky investment but it's kind of a cool thing i mean we did it just to monitor so we invested a thousand dollars or sacrificed or whatever you want to call it just so we can see what's going to happen and how how it's going to work cool so what is there anything you have to do now now that we have our characters yep you have to you have to play the game. Um, so this is the, you have to download, well, you can, you can download the actual game on your Android mm -hmm. smartphone, or you can download it on your PC. So you have to log in with uh, the, the credentials over here on Axie that you created your game with. Do you have the game on you your actually, computer? I do. I just need to, just need to uh, log in here. So we could actually on. play a quick game just to, just to see it yeah. real quick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, if I can prove that I'm not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these are just like, you know, um, but anyways, So the credentials uh, are something that you give to the scholars. How do you find your credentials? Um, so you actually have to when when you create your account, you actually you're required to put an email address and a password. And then you get credentials that you can give to a scholar. So the thing, yes. the thing to take note, guys, is you can invest in your teams and give access to the scholars, but they can't steal your axes. They can't. The only thing that they can do to screw you is just not play the game. And Correct. if they're not playing the game, you can revoke their access or right. Yes. Correct. You can, you can change the access and give it to a new scholar. But of course, any decent scholar is going to want to play the game. Um, so it's pretty cool. So it's like your workers can't, they can make you money, but they can't take it from you. You know, you'll have access. And then when it comes time to pay them, is it automatic or do you actually have, they have to trust that you'll pay them? They'll have to trust that you pay them. So, so you hold all the power. So you could literally screw your, your, your yep. scholars. You could say, yep. work for me for a month and I'll give you a cut. And then at the end of the month, say, nah, change my mind. That sucks yep. for them. It does, yeah. But the power should probably be with the the person that invested, you know, the initial money, obviously. Too bad that it's not, it doesn't automatically split it to, you know, that would be really cool. Because, yeah, you know, if, I'm sure that, I bet you that'll come in the future, a way that the scholars, it automates their earnings. Oh, are we in? 
Crypto yeah, Jumpstart. we need to configure the team. We need to configure the team right now. Um, so we need to I'm gonna save. Yeah, I do want to save, but so for some reason it's not picking up my axis, and I don't know why. Uh, let me just see if I can refresh or something. Oh, it needs to kind of. I need to. I need to like set up the the team initially. Like, okay, sync axis. There we go. Okay, so now I recognize my axes, and now I'm going to like create a team because you can have more than three axes and you can have several teams, right? So we're just gonna do crypto jumpstart. And now we're gonna add in the axes. So this is the first one, the plan, which is our tank. We want it to go to the front, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, all things being considered normal, uh, the axe uh, will attack in, in order, right? So we'll hit the plant first, then the fish or the aqua, and then the, um, the geek. Well, the the, uh, the dusk or the terminator here. So, um, so we created our team. Whatever, cool. Okay, here's our team, right? So now, uh, what we can do is we can play adventure, or we can play an arena. So an adventure is against a computer, arena is against a player. What earns more? Um. Mm, depends on the adventure, but usually um, arena. Once you get to a certain amount of cups, like a certain like a certain ranking or something, um, and depends on the level, you can actually earn more SLP um, or more more tokens. But let's just like play this simple one. Um, so we're just gonna play against the computer, right? Okay, loading. Okay, so these are not axes. This is just like the computer. So maybe we can do a quick game here. So uh, these are the cards, right? So what we want to do, let's say uh, we have vegetables says steal one energy from your opponent when coupled with another card. This is the energy that we have on the left hand side, four out of 10. So we can't play unlimited cards, right? Um, we can, however, uh, play enough cards that'll um, that'll get us this energy. So notice that um, we have two energy left. Um, I'm just gonna do that. Um, and this card that has zero energy from the Terminator. So now I'm gonna end my turn. And then my guy here is the one with the highest speed. So it goes first, then my plant goes second. It has two cards, so it's gonna attack twice. And then the opponent is going to uh, to attack, right? So these are all the cards that they have. And they're attacking your tank. And they're, they're attacking my tank right now. Um, so what we can do is we're definitely gonna play this card, which is this guys, which gains one energy when combo with another card plant. So we definitely want that. And uh, we want to also, let's see, let's use this guy, um, my fish which um, was, will probably have a uh, critical strike and will probably just like beat the, beat, um, you know, this guy over here. And um, yeah, let's just do that. Some people like to save up energy. Okay, so this guy just, you know, whacked beat him in one punch. Well, whacked him, yeah. So it, I didn't get to use the other card because the fish had two cards. Because it hit it just in the first one, it kind of like I kind of wasted my energy on mm. that second card because it didn't get to use it. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to do let's say, we're gonna stun them with my. So what you, what you see here at the top is the the order of who attacks first. So my fish is going to attack first because it has a higher speed. Um, then my terminator, then my plant, and then the computer, right? Now I'm gonna use a couple couple other attacks here and then my turn. So my fish goes first, attacked once, attacked twice. And yeah, this guy just finished him off. And then um, let's see if my plant survives. Oh, it did. It barely. has three HP. Yeah, barely survived. So I'm just going to cream him right now. Um, 
this guy, oh, so this card, um, like gives, this is my plan and it'll give, and it'll have some shield, but I'll probably just like, I'll, I'll need to use this one because I don't have a lot of uh, cards that will damage a lot of my opponents. So I'm just gonna use all of my cards. I don't even care because I have energy to spare. I have bags of energy right now. So let's see if I can, um, I don't think I'll kill him right now. Yeah, probably not gonna kill him. Um, so let's see. Now I have, if you see next to my plant, I have 54, okay, there we go. It, it depleted all my shield and then killed my Axie. No problem because it didn't really die, right? Just for this kind of battle. Just so yeah, I'm just gonna use this card. I don't really care. I'm just gonna like, you know, it has 110 attack. So I'm definitely, yeah, it, deal, it dealt Boom. 121. So, so you just ooh, won victory. the game. All right. Just won the game, yeah. SLP, what do we get? So we got experience from the Axies. We didn't get SLP, interesting. Um, Hey, what's going on? I don't know why. Oh, I think I need to like beat it. Um, you, you, you see that now there's like two characters over here. Mm -hmm. I think I need to beat it like a few times for that, uh, for, for me to get the SOP. I can run it again if you want. Or... No, no, no. That's unless you want to play really fast. Um, sure. Oh, one other thing. Here's the energy at the top left. Notice how it's 19 out of 20. Yeah. So what we talked about is um, if you want a scholar to play more often, you can just buy a number more axes mm -hmm. and um, like it'll, if you have like, if you get to 10 axes, it'll drive your max energy to 40. So you can play twice as much as- So I does this recharge right every 24 hours or something? Yes. Yes, gotcha. it does. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So let's see, I'm going to play here another- um, Another one, and let's see. Yeah. Let's see what we get. So, vegetable bite, seal one energy, draw poison. Yeah, we can do. I can probably do this. Yeah, let's just see how it goes. Okay, so that that didn't do much, but it gave us one energy, which is cool. Yeah, definitely, definitely not gonna kill this. Oh, hit a critical there. Huh, almost killed him. Anyways. Okay. Kind of slowed us down. So this is what we want. We want our tank to have the highest HP because it's going to take the, the most, um, the most amount of damage for mm -hmm. sure at the very beginning. Um, this guy, I'm going to, I'm going to kill him definitely at the first one. So I'm just going to use this. So what I'm going to do here is that because I'm going to probably attack this first guy and he only has 70 HP, I just want to use, and the first one I attack is my fish. I just want to use a single, a single attack because otherwise if I put another two cards, I'm just going to waste them because I'm going to kill him with like my first one. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put the other ones to attack with another one. So yeah, there you go. I kill them with just one attack and then I have my other axes with other cards that are going to attack other guys. So it, they don't go to waste. Um, Okay, and then maybe this guy survives. Yeah, it just survived. So this will gain one energy. Just gonna uh, stun this guy and do a couple, couple of these. So I'll probably kill the second guy. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna kill him. Oh, nice. So then I get to stun and sort of damage this other guy. Uh, kind of missed that attack. That kind of sucks. Oh, boom. Okay. And I think I'm not going to kill him this round, but I'm feeling pretty good of just like beating him on the, on the next round, next time around. Let's see. So more debuffs. Oh, let's see if I do something. Missed. Oh, Missed. oh, oh, wait. Got him. Yeah, got oh. him. I don't know why, but anyway. So you didn't even lose. You didn't even die none of you guys died you got a yeah. small love potion what's that that's the slp so oh, that's, oh that's oh that's s okay a small yeah. love potion yeah. slp makes sense <laughs> slp yeah, yeah. small love potion so you earn exactly. one yeah one out of 50 or whatever that this level allows me to but um, so you also have to level up before the earnings begin 
uh, have to load up before the earnings begin. N no, you, yeah, you, you mean, don't have to. Your but, earnings are happening, but I mean, to get to maximize your earnings of SLP. Oh yeah. So in adventure mode, you actually have, um, you can do the quests um, and then you can do like the adventure. So just in the adventure and the quests, you get 75 SLP period. So that plus whatever you earn on the arena. Ah, um, okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna like, you know, say for instance, like uh, I'm gonna battle this Yuri guy. So this is like another actual player. And I'm probably gonna lose right now just because- you You're know, battling kind of a like, person. This is a player versus player now. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, and, and you can see that this guy is gonna go first. Like the bird is gonna go first, right? At the top. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna like, you know, just demo it. I, I don't really, you know, I'm, I'm not expecting to win this, um, this battle, but just so you can know. Um, yes, what it's like to play a player. Okay. Exactly. So I'm just waiting for the other player to, for them to like. Do you still win move. SLP when you lose or only when you win? No. Yeah, only when you win. Yeah. Yeah, no uh, consolation prices on, on PvP, on Arena. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, you know, just waiting for the other guy. Sometimes they take a while or whatever, but they do have a timeout, I think. But um he's he's juggling. Yeah, he's juggling, juggling. 20, 20 games at, at once. Yeah, probably. So okay, attacked and then I can attack. I so this one, I think I stole energy for him. Okay, energy destroy. So I got destroy and energy. So I don't have any energy, but next round I got two energies. So this guy steals my energy. Um, I'm probably wanna um, probably wanna like deal some damage to this guy and also gain an energy. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see how it goes. So that's me. So I gained. Did I gain energy? I should have gained energy. Anyways, oh there we go. I gained a little bit of energy. That was good damage. Energy. Yeah, but then this guy's gonna heal. So this this is a healing card. Mm. Oh, didn't he? Well, anyways, um, game one to come with another combo plan. Yeah, this guy should be able to survive. Be able to. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, the bird attack. Okay, cool. Okay, kind of disable my ability. Wow. Oh, yeah. Killed you. Killed me just like that. Okay, so now I poison that guy. Okay, so that guy is probably gonna win. Uh, come up with another card. I'm just gonna steal a couple of his energies and uh, probably, yeah, that's about it. Just gonna steal a couple of his energies. See if I can do some damage there. Oh no, nice. So you see how it's on fire? That's, yeah. uh, yes. Oh crap, didn't what? kill him. He killed you. No, so what happens is that those extra kind of like life points, it's um, that's what it, what they call last strike. Mm. So what it means is that you should have been dead, but they're gonna give you a couple more moves mm. for you to like attack or be attacked, regardless of the outcome. You're gonna lose that second bar. So I had two bars. So that means either I attack twice, or two turns have passed. Either I attack or get attacked. Um, in this case, I attacked, but I also lost my life. So anyways, um, because I'm going to just like kill the guy. Oh, here's a timer there. So because I'm just going to kill the guy, um, probably just going to do a couple of cards just in case I don't kill him at the first. There we go. Um, then the other guy didn't do anything, apparently. So now what I'm going to do is, uh, so my guy is last, right? Uh, so I do want to be first in attack. So I want to do lagging, which is good because I also do um, it cause zero energy, which is nice. Um, and then I want to do, I want to stun him and I want to do more damage if it's debuffed. So my guy is going to, oh, it hit, hit critical. Yeah, not looking so good for me. Not looking good, yeah. So I died. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Okay. I'm not really good at this game. That's why I like my scholars play it for me. So. <laughs> and there no, you I'm, go. There you go. That's a PvP.
Okay. And and cool. then I lost some energy over here because every gotcha. year I have 17. So if, if, if you lose a lot, you won't even have to get a chance to replay it. You got to just know, to wait. Make up. So, you have yeah. to wait till the next day. Okay. Yep. So the, the next update we'll do is once we have a scholar, we'll come back and check up on it and see how the account's doing. We can do that, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. We can see how much SLP has been earned and whatever. You can go over that. All right, cool. So that was fun. We basically set up an investment. We played a game just to see how it's going to work. Uh, none of us are good at it. I don't want to really play the game. I want to, I'd rather, it, it's actually pretty cool that you can give an opportunity to somebody in another country that might not have the ability to earn much money or to help earn a little extra money. And in some countries, uh, whatever, an extra $5 a day can, can, can mean a lot, you know, that, that can be, that can be a lot. Um, you know, over, over and above what they, they might be making, or maybe they're just unable to work or who knows what the, or maybe they're children and they're just, who knows, but <laughs> maybe we'll upgrade if we go. I don't know. I mean, to me, it's just interesting. This is new. It's crazy. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of walkthrough of setting up and what to do step-by-step, step, how to set up a team. And then we will review it. We will review and update what this uh, crypto jumpstart Axie Infinity team does later. So any last words before we check out, Daniel? No, I think we covered uh, a lot here, actually. So yeah, we'll uh, check up. Uh, yeah, I feel like I understand afterwards. it a lot more now. Okay, cool. All right, guys, Crypto Jumpstart jumping out and the normal program will resume in the next video.